I'm a Trump supporter. I'm planning to vote for Trump in November. That's not going to change. I didn't like Obama creating ISIS, and I didn't like George W. Bush trying to take away our guns. And I'm a conservative, and I think that the state of Washington and the city of Seattle, from what I see, are doing a good job. I just want to know the truth. If someone else disagrees with me, I want to know the truth about what that person really has to say. And there's this attitude in America that if I don't fully 100% agree with you, then I don't have to talk to you. I shouldn't talk to you. I can ignore everything you say. And anyone who says anything bad about you, I should believe it right away and should never check any facts. That's not good. And there are a lot of people that claim to be Christians that are doing this. And the, one of the strange things about this is I was in Taiwan in 2014 and a bunch of students did basically the same thing. And they were stopping the communist Chinese from just walking in and taking over Taiwan because the controlling political party at that time, the, the KMT nationalists from Chiang Kai-shek, it's a weird party. They're, they're fascists. They, it's a political party that owns assets like banks. It's weird. And that party was trying to basically just hand Taiwan over to China and our our military technology for F-16s and Apache helicopters would have probably gone right with it. And then they probably would have invaded America from Taiwan, the Chinese. And these students stopped them. And I was there on the streets. I saw what things were like. I was friends with uh, their, their head of security. We're, like I could still call the guy up and talk to him today. And I, it, they let me in his press. I followed the two leaders out when they left. I recorded it on my phone. It's on YouTube. I was there. And... I saw a protest that looked chaotic in the streets, but it was actually incredibly peaceful. And they had some security issues to deal with, but everybody does. But they had security set up and they were all volunteers. They just wanted to save their country from China. And I'm seeing the same pictures come out of Seattle and I'm seeing the same uncut interviews coming off of the street. And I'm seeing police talking the same way in Seattle how, as how they talked in Taiwan at that time. And I'm looking at this and, and I'm able to believe it. I'm a conservative. I, I typically vote Republican and I believe it. Um, I don't agree with all the demands, but we need to be listening to each other. I'm thinking that there's some lying going on about what's happening in Seattle, just like how CNN will lie about Trump. You don't listen to someone because you want to agree with the person. You don't listen to someone because you, you already agree with the person. You listen to someone because you want to know the truth. You don't want anyone else to come in and start lying and making someone that agrees with you 80% fight with you and think that you don't agree on anything at all. We're, we're not going to know who our friends are helping us do what we want to do if we listen to gossip and don't verify facts.